All right, what's going on guys? Today, I wanted to talk about why I believe CRO will explode. So I just wanted to also say thank you guys for subscribing. About a few days ago, I had 60 subscribers. Now I have like 120. So it's been absolutely crazy and I really appreciate you for joining me on the journey to 1K subs. I definitely appreciate it. So anyways, guys, if you're interested in more of these videos, do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below. Did you like that? I thought that was pretty smooth. And also smash the like button. So anyways, guys, let's get into this. CRO is a native token for the crypto.org chain, a Cosmos-based blockchain. Crypto.com has over 10 million users and it's growing faster than any other exchange with partnerships in the sports world. So when it comes to the utility of CRO, it's the best of all. As of now, its use cases are one, staking for getting the metal visa cards, two, staking for reducing the exchange fees, three, participating in supercharger event for mining new coins with CRO deposit, and four, as a rewards distribution currency for Visa cards cash back, and five, paying gas fees on the crypto.com org chain, six, settlement currency on the upcoming EVM based chain Kronos. So as of writing this right now, around 3.5 billion CRO have been delegated for the crypto.com org chain alone. There are no official numbers for the total number of CRO locked for the purposes of the other use cases. So next up, I wanted to talk about the partnerships with Crypto.com and it's really exciting to see. We have the Philadelphia 76ers, Fnatic, UFC, Formula One, Ice Hockey, and Copa Italia. So upcoming events for Crypto.com are the Kronos Mainnet on October 19th and also exchange availability in the USA Q4. It's not yet available for the Americans, but it will be in Q4. And also many more partnerships that are soon to come. So let's talk about the good stuff, the best utility of any other exchange token. So based on the Reddit screenshots of the Visa cards and just seeing the subreddit explode, there has been a huge demand for people to use the Visa cards. There's more benefits from holding Visa cards like free Spotify, Netflix, etc., and can be used to stake and get more benefits. So I see some people online saying that Crypto.com holds a lot of supply, and that's not necessarily true anymore. As the great CRO burn that reduced CRO max supply from 100 billion to around 30 billion, which meant that all of Crypto.com's big holdings got burned. 20 billion got burned in capital reserve, 5.5 billion got burned in community development, and 10.4 got burned in secondary distribution and launch incentives. There are a ton of Visa cards in the wild. Add on to that the exchange stake, the mainnet staking, supercharger, old DeFi swaps. Most CRO are locked in the ecosystem by the community and members and holders. So there's simply not enough CRO for crypto.com to even hold anymore. The point of the burn was also to make sure the community slash customers owned the vast majority. So personally, I'm betting on crypto.com to be the new Binance. Let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably think the same way, but the way that Binance has been going as an exchange and for example, Binance being banned in some places or just having some, you know, a bit of shady circumstances in other places really mean that CRO and crypto.com have been just exploding in growth as a result. All right, so next up, I wanted to talk about the statistics of CRO and just them growing as an exchange. I also wanted to look at the statistics of their subreddit and also a possible price prediction in the future. So let's get into it. Here we have the crypto.com coin pulled up on coinmarketcap.com. By the way, I work for coinmarketcap.com and it's been a fun time. Anyways, right now it's trading at 17 cents per CRO. We can see here in the past day, there's actually been a bit of a rally. And if we look at the past year, we, we can see that there's been up and downs, especially in the past summer months. What's also interesting is that if you toggle on Bitcoin to compare the view that Bitcoin has had historically and match it with CRO, you can see here that actually it, it used to follow Bitcoin, but what's interesting is that as of recently, it hasn't. And that's that's the interesting thing. And I believe that's also a part of the main adoption with it and just their advertising and marketing campaigns that they've been doing. They've grown exponentially on the platforms and as an exchange. And for a coin to take a different path than Bitcoin, that's saying something. As of right now, it is actually the 39th ranking for total market cap. Next up, I wanted to look at the r slash crypto.com stats on their subreddit. So if you look here, we can see the total subscribers back in 2019 only had 1,200. It's actually pretty crazy. Now, if we look at back in April 2020, we can just see a slow and steady growth ever since then. And then with that kind of rally we had back in January,
January, April, we can see an exponential growth then. And then from now, there's just been a nice and steady growth onto the subreddit, which has over 80,000 members today. Here you can see the subscriber rank over time, lower is better. It's been getting lower. Here, comments per day has been increasing and comments day rank, lower is better here. It's getting better and posts per day have also been increasing. So you can see here that there is a lot more engagement on the topic of CRO. Next up, let's talk price prediction. It's important to put you know, specific coins into a perspective, right? If it had the same market cap as of, for example, Bitcoin or other coins, it's important to understand market cap and to understand where the price of a coin could go. So for example, if crypto.com had the same market cap as of Bitcoin, one CRO would be worth $35, which would be an upside of 206X. Now, as of earlier, I mentioned that CRO was at the 39th spot. Right now, I can easily see the market cap as of crypto.com and CRO to be at the $10 billion mark, which right now would put it at the Bitcoin cash mark, the 19th spot as of right now, and that would put it at the potential price as of 40 cents, which would be an upside of 132%. And I can see with the fundamentals that I've talked about earlier that the price could easily hit that. So let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. And also, if you want a discount on CRO and crypto.com as an exchange, you can also use the link in the description below. And if you're interested about crypto debit cards, I made an entire video just dedicating this as a full on guide. So you can also check that video out as well. So anyways, guys, this has been yours truly minted max. Let me know what you think about this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.